Final Fantasy XIV has been around for a decade. Veterans and noobs alike find themselves in the predicament of not knowing what to expect from content. I'm here to fill you in on exactly what each one's about, starting with A Realm Reborn. Tanks won't aggro, healers barely heal, DPS doesn't even do positionals, no one has any AoE. Don't even bother with mechanics. The only reason you're going to run this dungeon is because you have to and you will keep running it forever because you're going to keep getting it and it's never any fun. Now there's a ton of monsters, you still have no AoEs, mechanics still don't matter, and the bosses barely do, since they're all copy-pasted for most of the dungeon. There's an item called Fire Sand. No matter how many times you run this, you will miss them and then forget where they are. You will go back to look for them, being sure that you know where it is. You will not find it, because you're looking for the wrong one. This one's an optional dungeon, meaning you can miss it. I suggest you do so. Alright everyone, thanks Square Enix for changing this dungeon. Photocells are no longer a thing. Even though they spawned in the same place every time, you would miss them, and because they're so small and weirdly lit, it was super hard to find them again. You don't need to run back anymore. There's an interactable after the second boss. No more using Return in a Dungeon. Now, people won't realize you can use Return in a Dungeon, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice. You will get turned around during this the first time and subsequently confuse what you're supposed to do. I still don't know what I'm doing. I still pull too many monsters into one of the bosses. I don't know if you're supposed to or not. I don't know if anyone knows if you're supposed to or not. Okay, seriously, fuck these stupid rockheads. They die on the pedestal. They're not supposed to get up. I get that it's still lit up, but the body is on the pedestal. I don't understand the hitboxes. Open the door! Tanks, be ready to learn about poles. It will be forced upon you. There is no choice. There is no path. Only interacting with glowing spots and mobs. Fighting dragons is cool. Environmental mechanics will always be annoying. Also, AOE rotations are a thing now. Fuck Arum Vale. What is the point of diverging paths? Just put monsters and interactables on a single path. Especially when the things you need to interact with are just completely off the path and sometimes they're just missable. It's really annoying. Same place for these two because they both serve the purpose of giving you a break during daily roulette sessions. They're a lot more involved now, but the cutscenes are still really long. It has some classic monsters from D&D, but it's otherwise unmemorable, except the god pull. Only the strongest of adventurers can pull that off. I hate it here. I still don't know what to do, except skip it. Fuck this place. Going AFK is the worst mechanic to ever exist, and I'm glad it's not a thing anymore. You can over damage the final boss and insta wipe. You literally have to hold back to clear this dungeon. Diabolos is dope and his gates are cool, but the timing is weird and you will wipe on this once per run. I don't care how many times you've run it. Why do I need to talk to NPCs after each boss? Maybe it's obvious since they're not in other dungeons, but it's so weird and the layout is so confusing that missing an NPC turns you around completely. Why does the final boss go untargetable for so long? Even once the mechanics are done, you can't hit him. The dungeon takes an extra minute where literally nothing is happening. Why are there traps? If they exist to force you off the path, don't they create a different optimal route? Why isn't that just the layout of the dungeon? Also, fuck this final boss. I don't know why, but the final tentacle went basically invulnerable and we just had to wait it out, and that sucked. Run this once for story, it's great. Never run it again, because you'll forget all the mechanics. Fighting Dragons is still cool. And this dungeon is the first time you'll be tested on identifying mechanics without standard markers. However, fuck the stupid turtle dragon. It's a cool fight, but too many people don't understand how to balance the cannon versus their skills, so it's very easy to wipe on it for dumb reasons. Pockets of snow are annoying and too many newbies die to them, but the bosses are cool and I like their mechanics and the changes that were made to the dungeon are perfect. It's Sastasha, but an actual dungeon. Also, don't trust cheese strats. Ads with mechanics are cursed. They're not hard, but without a fixed party, you will be ignored while snared. Good luck surviving. 
some of the best bosses in Realm Reborn, especially with the changes introduced in 6.1, as I have made clear, fighting dragons is still cool. Better than the normal version. Why is the final dungeon boss of Realm Reborn a clown? <laughs>